Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I've got myself a copy of the Ample Sound Ample Bass P based upon a precision bass. Now, we reviewed some of their products before, and they were relatively new, and they gave away a free acoustic guitar uh, instrument about a year and a half ago, and we reviewed that at the time. Then we went on to review their Taylor guitar, and I've got a Taylor guitar, so it was good to try it like that, uh, and, and a Gibson acoustic, and a few other things. They then did some electrics as well, so now they've done a bass guitar, uh, based around the same kind of technology. It's got its own playback engine, and it's got some other tricks up its sleeve as well. Uh, so it's very easy to sort of fall back onto the default stuff like contact and stuff, but these guys are really trying to do something different. And so I want to do a show and tell video. So I'll put up all the sounds. Here they are on the screen just to show you the different types of sounds you can get. Sustain, palm mute, uh, slap, pop, uh, harmonics, or that, as they call natural harmonics, uh, tap and all that sort of stuff. So that, there they all are. And they obviously work at different parts of the keyboard. Now, if you've not seen the Ample Sound GUI before, then it's pretty similar each time. As I say, the articulations are down here. Then we've got fade in, if you'd ever want to fade in. Uh, sort of sound, then auto buzz on and off, uh, acoustic noise. Then we've got some sliders here to do things like the re the, the release uh, volume, uh, the natural acoustics, the fret sound and stuff like that. Then we've got the start time uh, and then sensitivity as well. And then as you can see down here, the keyboard split up. Uh, this is the kind of playing area, the general playing area. This is where we can use switches to switch between the different sounds. That's very useful as well. Uh, and then we've got different kind of effects and sort of special sounds at the top, and I'll show you those in a while. Let's get to the sounds, and as I say, this is a switch here. So if I go to my MIDI keyboard, and I, and I press down at the bottom, I'll just engage that as my playback device. You'll see straight away that in the articulations now, it's changing the sound as I'm pressing th that through. So I can start with a standard sustain. So that's sustain, uh, and then you got fret mute. Natural harmonics. Slide in. to slap now. And again, if we go further up the keyboard, then we start finding some of the kind of that's very high up on the sustain side now. Now where it really comes into its own is that then you can program it to, all, to have things like the, art, the articulations uh, switching as you play. Uh, and that can really make a big difference. And they give you some demos to download. Uh, there's a few other things that are worth uh, checking as well. You can import uh, standard tabulature. So you can actually play them from here. So there's several different tabulature formats. It will, it will import and then you can play them. Uh, you have an edit window where you can actually go in and change the tuning of certain strings or, or change the, the pitch of them totally and do quite a lot there to modify that. And you can choose different articulations and then save them and load them. So there's the sample editor there. Uh, then we have the, uh, 
the settings window here where you can do the master tune. Now one cool thing you can do is you can send MIDI out of it. So if you've got a bass part going on in there, you could, if you switch that on, it will send MIDI out and play. For example, you could have a synth bass behind this and do that kind of nice 80s kind of, did it on a lot of Michael Jackson's tracks. Uh, they'd have a synth bass going behind the, the main P bass and the main bass that was being playing. So that's very nice as well, and it works. I've tried it in Pro Tools, and you have to, one thing you have to be careful of, you have to make sure that this, the delay is set properly. So this has a delay compensation anyway that needs to take place. Here, I've got to, I've got to pull it back 50 milliseconds just because of the, the processing time it's taking. So it's worth noting that, and uh, so if you're going to use MIDI, I'd say 50 milliseconds is about right. That's not unusual. We had the same thing when we started uh, playing with the, the Scarby bass, and so uh, it's worth noting that as well. So... Let's go back to the main thing, and here's a demo that they've got on their site. It's uh, a kind of inspired version of uh, Billy Jean, using all the different articulations. So let me play you this, and you can have you can hear it in action. And it's a lot better than me doing it. And so uh, here we go. Now I could hit the sustain now. So you've got that dynamic processing of the articulations. You could change the sound a bit more. You get the idea anyway. You heard it at the end there doing some effects here from here as well. Some of that stuff as well. Uh, so you can download a seven day demo. As you can see here, I've downloaded this demo and, and try it for yourself. A number of things to note. Uh, it's a great sounding sampled instrument. It's it's really nice as I say, the, the sustain uh, and the uh, particularly that and the fret mute one. Uh, and the slap is very nice. And so if, if you uh, want a nice P bass, and don't want to invest in something uh, that gives you shed loads of basses, such as Trillion and that, and want just a really good standard bass. This is really nice. It sounds nice and uh, well worth trying. As I say, it's a free download. It's quite a big one, so make sure you've got some bandwidth on your, on your internet before you pull it down. And download it and try it, uh, especially if you're working with tablature stuff and uh, you want to use it in uh, perhaps you're, you're making tracks for people. Uh, final thing to note here, we've also got some uh, the, the master volume here and also the ratio uh, between the non-slap articulations and the slap articulations. So that's also up there as well. So uh, good effort from them. Try it and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.